What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Pretty Lies and Alibis. I'm Gigi. What you know, Fruit Loop? I know that I was shocked when you texted me a minute ago. I know, right? So this is just a quick update on Alec Murdoch's bond hearing. He was denied bond. Before we get started, big thank you to our sponsor, Two Cool T-Shirt Quilts. If you're watching on YouTube, you can see one of her pillows right behind me. She was kind enough to make Fruit Loop and I both one. Yep. And uh, so go to two cool t shirt quilts.com slash pretty lies and alibis and get you something. So, our YouTube listeners want me to show my shirts because I'm doing band shirts. So, today I'm feeling really good. This is my Willie <laughs> Nelson shirt. Feeling <laughs> really good. Feeling really good. <clears throat> We want to give a big thank you to Beth for her uh, very generous PayPal donation. And she says she doesn't miss an episode. So thank you so much, Beth. Yeah, thanks, Beth. All right, let's jump right into this because right after we finish this, we are going to record the next episode in the Chandler document dump with Zulema's testimony. So let's do this. Yep. All right, bomb was denied. I was kind of shocked. What? I was too. I was really shocked because these are felonies, but... You know they're not violent crimes, so the judge the, the the judge wants Alec to have a psychiatric evaluation. Clearly, um, this it's it's crazy. So remember, he's already out on a recognizance bond for the insurance fraud charges tied to the roadside shooting, in which his story mm -hmm. is he set up a suicide or an, what would look like a suicide. These charges were for two counts of obtaining property by false pretenses, and each one of those charges carries 10 years each, up to 20 years is what he's facing just with these. Now, one thing that a Twitter user pointed out is this judge was the same judge that presided in the recent fake Uber trial and the murder of Samantha jo Joseph's, Joseph's son in Columbia, South Carolina, and I really liked him when he did that <coughs> trial. After the verdict and before sentencing, he was talking to the defendant and he got very emotional hmm. and I liked him from the get go. So I knew he looked familiar. I told them I would check and see. And then they told me it was him. So the state came on and said Gloria was a long term housekeeper for the Murdochs and helped raise Buster and Paul. In fact, they used to call her Gogo. Wow. So she had been there really since the boys were born. And Remember now, she was homeless at different times throughout the years while she was housekeeping for the Murdoz. And she has this one son with special needs. So the state initially had asked for a $200,000 surety bond and GPS monitoring. Eric Bland and Ronnie Richter, who are attorneys for the Satterfield family, they wanted $4.3 million bond saying, and rightfully so, that he has a lot of really wealthy friends that could get really any amount together. They preferred no bond, but I don't think any of these groups, the state or the defense, went in this maybe anticipating he would get no bond. Yeah, I, I was shocked. Yeah. So prosecutors say that Alec is starting to sell off his assets, such as an interest in a hunting club down in Beaufort and one of his own boats, I believe he had listed that for sale for over $100,000. So right now they want his finances frozen for potential civil lawsuits. The thing is, he's granted Buster Murdoch, who is his son, a really broad power of attorney and surrendered financial control to Buster. So I, I don't see how Buster is going to come out of this. He's going to have to maybe scrape from the bottom. Yeah. He's going to have to make his own way. And right now, Buster has never been named as a person of interest in any of this. And I, for the moment, I feel really bad for Buster. Yeah. We can say yeah. these boys were definitely raised with privilege, you know, but this guy has lost his entire family since July. That mm -hmm. is, that's gotta be devastating. So what Alec did is he set up a bank of America account as Alec Murdoch doing business as forge. Now forge is, kind of a similar name to a law firm here in, or not, a, well, it's a firm here in South Carolina that handles settlement money. So what he did is from this Bank of America account, he transferred money into his personal account. So prosecutors say he deposited $3.3 million of the Satterfield settlement into his own account. And they gave an example that after this money started coming in, he had one credit card that had over a hundred thousand dollars 
owed. And so he paid that off in full. It's so crooked. It is very crooked. And they, they kind of let it be known today. This is not the last we're going to see of him being arraigned in court. Yep. So a lawyer for the Satterfield family said, we aren't the only victim. We are the only victims here today. Um, the judge asked about other ongoing investigations and said that will be considered into his decision for bond. Um, an agent from SLED said they were investigating Stephen Smith and Gloria Satterfield's deaths. I still say something ain't right with that. No. Uh, he tiptoed around this saying the charges he was facing today is what they're comfortable putting out there, but it's huge. He mentioned these two deaths. Definitely. I think it is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because for me it to throw those names out there as a consideration as to why the judge might not want to give bond to me is saying without saying that maybe these two deaths are going to result in charges for him. Mm -hmm. sooner if not later yeah so the agent said there could be more charges in the near future um but didn't say related to the deaths of Stephen or gloria gloria died of a stroke and heart attack back in february 2018 related to a fall at the murdoch house in which they say she tripped over a dog uh the state says these charges are the tip of the iceberg and i totally agree oh yeah it's like the house of cards is crumbling. It's like a domino. It's like a domino effect. It's just yep. now it's going to be boom, 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 boom. And, and there's no telling how many people this ship is going to take down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The defense said Alec had been, on, been an addict for 20 years and is now getting clean. They say all these dirty deeds were opioid fueled. The Alec without opioids led a law abiding life. He looked different. Yeah, well, facing probably the rest of your life in the pokey is mm -hmm. going to make you not want to eat and lose some weight with stress. And I mean, yeah. if, if he is truly an addict, it's not my job to question that. Going through withdrawal and detox is very taxing on the body, too. So he's just yeah. got a ton of stuff that would <clears throat> make him look yeah. a little different. Exactly. So one of the attorneys said today, Alec Murdoch, Murdoch needs to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. I think it's going to be pretty uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. Uh, he declined to make a statement. His attorney said Alex, Alex's law license is suspended and he had no escrow accounts or any clients and can further his scheme. He says Alec was a defendant in the wrongful death suit and not an attorney. Uh, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's really not true, though. And, and that's what the state kind of came back with. Yeah, like, okay, I got choked on water the other night. Oh, uh, really? Like, I started laughing and got choked on water. <laughs> <coughs> and it just irritated my esophagus. <laughs> yeah, you were hacking last night. I know, right? Um, so the state says Alec used his position and prestige to steal from the Satterfield family, and his knowledge of the system allowed him to steal this money, which is absolutely tied to him being a lawyer. I totally agree. Oh, yeah. He knew the ins and outs. It's just he really didn't think that consequences would be a part of that. Like, there's a special needs kid involved. Like, how do you take money from those boys who deserved? They needed yeah. help. Yeah. I mean, it it just speaks volumes as to yeah. who this guy really is. Yeah. Yeah. So the state also noted that Alex's office and Corey Fleming's office communicated to disperse the money. Uh, and remember, Corey Fleming was Alex's roommate, college roommate, and godson to one of Alex's kids. And both of their law licenses have been suspended. Yeah, so I think he's going to be in the pokey for the unforeseeable future. I mean, we know that the judge wants the psychiatric evaluation, and only when he gets it is that going to be considered to maybe let him out on bond but the judge really today reiterated that he said he sentences people every two or three weeks who do really bad things like murder while they're under the influence of drugs so the judge said the concern for the community for alec himself 
the fact that he was a flight risk, all that factored in. So that's what we wanted to do, guys. We wanted to do this very quick update on this bond hearing. Big news, big, big news. Unexpected to most people, I think. And so that's it. We're going to get on this Zulema testimony here in a few minutes. So you guys have got a double dose of us today. Hey, I'm telling you the one I'm ready to break down is Jason Mao. Me too. And I haven't even really read through that one yet. That's yeah. my job for later today. Yeah, I hadn't watched it either. So, yeah. All right. We will see you guys shortly. Have a good afternoon.